Good day, good people. This is Phil and today I want to give you some helpful tips that you need as a photographer slash videographer, but on the soft skills side. So today we are going to talk about only soft skills and what you need to be successful when you are starting out as a videographer or a content creator in general. Let's get started. So first of all, what are soft skills? I mean, this is an easy one, right? Soft skills are the skills that have nothing to do with photography or videography. Soft skills is the additional features, like the additional skill sets that you have in order to grow your business or your clientele. So what are soft skills? For example, talking would be a soft skill, presenting would be a soft skill, negotiating, negotiating, I'm sorry, <laughs> would be a soft skill. Yeah, sorry, it's not my first language. So soft skill is basically everything that helps you to improve with everything that you have. It improves um, your life and career when you are um, a professional sportsman or if you are a content creator. So these are soft skills. But what soft skills do you actually need to be successful? Number one, communication. This is a basic one and it comes easy to some people, to extroverts, it comes harder or more difficult to people who are more introvert. But communication is key in this business because you need to land clients. And if you uh, want to be a freelance photographer, for example, is it's especially important to go out there and tell people what you do. So they have an idea of what you do and so they hire you. So what I'm, I'm not saying that you need to go to a lot of parties. If that is not your thing, you do not have to do that. But in your daily life, you will usually be in contact with other people. Um, be it that you have an office job or another job right now. You will be in contact with people. And also, you should tell these people, not necessarily at work, but uh, I don't know, maybe you made friends at work, you should tell them what you are going to do. Like, yeah, on the side, you know, I'm building a little side hustle, I'm doing photography gigs and stuff. Just get the word out there. You need to be good at communication. And if it comes not that easy to you, if it is hard to you, you can practice it. Do an easy approach with, with folks that you know. Like, for example, your friends, your family, just practice. Practice your pitch is what I'm saying. So practice with uh, your parents or your siblings um, what you would say to someone that you meet at a party or um, in the recreation room or in the sports center and whatnot, you know, because one of the first questions is always, so what do you do? And you have to be prepared for this pitch at least. So even if you don't like approaching people, like cold calling people and um, offering your services, you need to be at least able to pitch. And if you are an introvert and I kind of become an introvert myself, it's very important to have this memorized and to have a few sentences prepared that you can pitch to people in order to uh, get business, in order to get the word out there. That's tip number one. Tip number two. This one kind of builds on the first tip, okay? So it's networking. Like the first one was communication. So only talking to people, pitching your idea and telling them what you actually do. Networking is another thing. Networking goes one step further in my opinion. And networking goes as far as getting back to people when you have already told them what you do. So an example would be, let's say you met Steve at a party and Steve was very nice, you drank a beer together, he told you that he's a lawyer and you said to him, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing photo photography and uh, I'm doing videos and I've already made a wedding. So uh, at a wedding I did some photos, they're really pleased with that. And so, so basically you pitch to him what you do. And uh, St Steve, Steve was his name. So two or three weeks later, you should contact Steve. And that is what I call networking. You should send him an email. For example, hey Steve, was nice meeting you. I hope your business is doing great. Um, just a reminder, if you ever need a photographer at your wedding, um, just give me a call or give me a message. And Steve will remember that and he will be, ah, oh, yeah, I, I knew this guy, he's, he's a wedding photographer or whatever, whatever you pitch to him, you know, maybe, I don't know, you, you pitch to a wedding, this is like a classic and uh, he will get back to you. Or if it's not his wedding, 
he will tell it to a friend because he knows people, you know, and this is networking. He knows a lot more people and a, lot, a whole lot different people than you know. So he might pitch your idea to other people and he might say, hey, you know, I know this guy. I met this guy a few weeks ago. Um, let me give him a call. And this is what I can call networking. So be aware that it is important to, to text with people, to talk to people, to call people or to, to meet up with people once in a while to, to keep them memorizing what you do and the service you deliver. And this brings me to tip number three. Obviously, especially this networking skill is more important if you are a freelancer. So if you want to be your own boss like me, that's what I love to do. I love working for myself and deciding myself by myself what I want to do and who I want to work for. And the first two skills that I told you, the first two tips are especially important if you are a freelancer and working on your own. Now, if you are um, a hired person. So if you are a videographer in a company, you get your salary and you do the jobs that the company lands, then it's a little different. You might still need those skills, but not to the extent um, as, a, uh, as a freelancer because, well, the company lands the jobs and you, you do the work for them. Also, this might be a little less satisfying, but it really depends also on how uh, how you like to work. So if you if you say, yeah, man, thanks for the tips, Phil, but I'm 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 kind of hesitant with this whole networking thing. That this is not my thing. I don't go to parties. I don't like talking to people. Um, then okay, then you might want to start as an employee at a at a larger company, and be their photographer for a while, until you're good enough and have worked with enough external clients to maybe um, become a freelancer because you automatically get to know people in this area um, by working in this area. So you might land, um, you might be sent out by your company to, to, to do a photo shoot, uh, I don't know where, somewhere outside. And there will be other people, of course, that you will be working with. So you will be networking implicitly. You don't have to go out there. It just happens. This is what I would call an easier start. But also you would have to find a job at a company without any skills if you're just starting out or at least with few skills. And um, it might be hard to convince a company to, to, to hire you. It is still possible. But then again, for this, you would need to be good at communication already. So you can also ask yourself, OK, if I'm good enough to convince a company to hire me, I'm probably good enough to convince anybody to hire me as a freelancer as well. Food for thought, right? That's tip number three. Tip number four and my absolute favorite. And one of the most important things that I can tell you is over deliver. This is crucial. If you want to just take away one thing from this video, it is you need to over deliver. You need to wow your clients in order to make them recommend you to other clients or to other prospects. This is absolutely crucial. Here's a tip on how to do that. For example, let's say you land your first gig. You just started out like I did recently. You made some videos, you got a little portfolio and that's the first guy that comes to you and says, hey, you know what, man, I want you to do a video for me. I, I don't know, I'm like a realtor and I want you to make a little action hero, um, action hero, yeah, a little movie of me where I am selling something in, uh, in this nice property. And you say, okay, I'll do it. You need to over deliver. What does this mean? This means that you're going to write a script. You're going to go to Canva. You're going to do and not just like handwritten down. No, no, you're going to go to Canva. You're going to choose an awesome template and you will send him something that when he sees it, he will be, wow, what is that? He will be flabbergasted because you sent him this great script and this looks so professional and this is so crucial that you look professional when you want to land new clients especially in the beginning so over deliver at all cost send him a script beforehand so he sees what you're gonna film ask for information it's like in uh, job interviews you should always also ask for information because then the other side sees okay this guy 
has already made some research and wants to know more. He wants to be really prepared. And also this looks insanely professional. So have questions like, okay, what is the location that you want to shoot at, Joe? Um, Joe, you say you're a realtor. Um, how, how many minutes do you want this video to be? What do you want to convey to your clients? So you have to have a set of several questions that you are going to ask your um, future client. And all of this will give him the feeling, um, your, 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 um, the person who hires you, the feeling, oh, well, this man is really serious. This man is really professional. And he, he, absolutely, he, he, he will be impressed by this, by this effort that you make. And especially in the beginning, but also later, I think it's a very good attitude that you can take is to over deliver, to, to wow the other person and um, yeah, just, just to deliver insanely good work. Because after all, you chose to be a photographer or a videographer because you love doing that, right? So I want you to be the best version that you can be in this freaking area. I want you to read everything about it. I want you to watch every goddamn YouTube video about this. You need to be kick ass good and make the client see that. Yeah, so sorry, I got a little emotional there, but this, this is just important to me, you know, because I have learned these lessons in the past and I, 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 I want to share it with you. I want to share it with you so you can uh, succeed. So you can pull something out of this video and go out there and uh, make good content and land your jobs. Okay. So yeah, this is it. If you got any questions, put them down in the comments and also please like and subscribe. I know everybody says that, but it does help out a lot. It does help out a lot. So thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, but please subscribe. Have a good one. Cheers.